here at night. <laughs> Don't you want a woman to keep you warm? What for? This uniform is plenty warm enough, and it's not even cold out tonight. We can't be shut off as easily, you taffer. Oh! At least it's better than sitting watch for the downwinders. Damn right. No smell of sewage, no mildew, fewer rats. You ever wonder why Truert hired us? Not really. Probably figured we'd spend less time breaking the law since we'd be enforcing it. Gold is gold. Don't matter if it's coming from Reuben or Sheriff Truert. the meat on the rug. Anyway, someone is on their way up to clean it up already. But you don't understand. These taffers have no respect for such beautiful things. Benny, I think you've had too much to drink. Aren't you supposed to be on duty? Huh. So, what if I am? Huh? Anyways, I work better when I'm drunk. It makes me fearless! If I see a bad I'll just point my sword at him and say... Hey! Bad guy! You're not supposed to be here! Go home or I'll stick you with my sword till you go! Ouch! I'm dead! <laughs> <laughs> hey, we should be up there. Ain't no one gonna be messing with old Benny. Whatever, Benny. I think you should go sleep it off. No more mead for you. <clears throat> your watch not too bad just catching a cold <coughs> nasty weather we're having makes me wish I was inside guarding one of them exhibits instead of out here in the rain how come we got stuck on outdoor guard duty again we're guards that's what we do <coughs> Do you know anything about the exhibitions? I've heard stories that the masks they're gonna bring are... are magical. And uh, haunted. I don't know, and I don't care. We go through this all the time. You ask these stupid questions and then something goes wrong. Lord Bafford, Lord Donald, Sheriff Truitt, we worked for all of them and always gotten fired because someone broke in. Something got stolen, or someone got killed. I'm always too distracted answering your stupid questions. When this job is over, you're on your own. I'm done with you. Hey! No need to get all heated about it. Taffer. <coughs> dun, 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 dun. <sighs> and I'm telling you, that the only stench heartier than your rotting barrack of a master is the liquor on his fetid breath. If he comes near Lady Van Vern again, <laughs> we'll boil his knickers. Oh, ho! 
Mighty fine words coming from a knock-kneed, inbred pageboy such as yourself. Our good Master Willie wouldn't be caught near that frumpy little trollop unless he were holding her back at the end of a halberd. How dare you defile the name of someone so good and virtuous as the Lady Van Vernon. Old Lady is a saint among mortal women. An angel so pure the heavens couldn't hold her. <laughs> ah, your lady, an angel? You're lucky the dockside whore keeps aren't bashing down her door for stealing their clientele. Why, just last night, I saw her out back warming up the stable boy. Such slander will not be tolerated while we're on watch. You'd best run and rescue your helpless limp lord before he founders in his own vomit or wakes up naked in a hen coop. Scurry off, or you'll require some unnecessary ventilation! Is that a threat, you shriveled old maid? You gonna prick us with your sewing needles? On this side of the street, we shoot like soldiers, so don't make promises your arrows can't keep. You gone! You gone too far this time, you camel man and tunic wedding mollycoddle! An arrow in the throat and I shut you up! Uh, have at thee! Look here! Uh, Let's jump on! Uh, uh.